Stir and wrapper functions are both used to get a string representation of an object. Let me give you an example. Let's have a variable called x and that variable will hold a string. Inside that string will say hello friend. And let's use the stir function on that x variable and let's use wrapper function for that variable. You can see clearly when you print a string using the stir function, the result is a string inside single quotes. While when you use the wrapper function, the result is single quotes inside double quotes. The stir is used usually for creating output for end user, while the wrapper is mainly used for debugging and development. The wrapper's goal is to be unambiguous while the stir's goal is to be readable. Let me give you another example. Let's import datetime built-in Python module. And let's have an instance call today to show you the current time. Now let's apply the same concept When we use the stir function, it prints a readable format for datetime object. While when we use the wrapper function, it prints the official format of datetime object. Now let me give you an example on how the stir and wrapper functions can work for our own defined classes. And let's have a class called food. So we will have our constructor method taking self, size, and price. And we'll say self.size equal to size and self.price equal to price. So the functions that start with double underscore in Python are called dunder method. So let's have a dunder method for the string function. And here we will have self as input. Then we want to return a statement. We will say the self.size size is equal to self.price. We will close the single quote dot format the self equal to self. And let's have a second dunder method for wrapper. And here we want to return a statement saying that is used for debugging. Great. Now let's go ahead and create an instance of that food class. We will call it salad. Then it will be equal to the food class. And here we will have our first argument. Let's say large as a size and 20 euros as the price. Now take a look closely what will happen when we will use the stir function with the wrapper. Notice that when we have used the stir function, it invoked the double underscore stir function in our class. While when we use the wrapper function, it invoked the double underscore wrapper function inside our food class. To summarize, a class should have a dunder wrapper function if we need detailed information for debugging. And if we think it would be useful to have a string version for users, we create a dunder stir function.